said or by watching? And if so, what was your, your takeaway from the last game, you and the team? Yep, I do break it down. Well, we had a nice Florida game. You know, let's, let's go back to the whole last month of the season. We've been playing this way for a while. And when we got to this series, um, you know, game one, we had some nice momentum. They're playing a gimmick defense, which has been working, top blocking everything on the perimeter. So guys not even looking at the three-point line. They're just forcing guys inside the three-point line. So for us, when I get the ball in my spots, you know, I got a pest, Patrick Beverly, who was up underneath me. Well, I could definitely shoot over top and score every time if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. But we got a guy that's dropping and helping, and then we got another guy that's just sitting on me waiting, waiting for me to dribble the basketball. If I put the basketball on the floor, I can, you know, I could probably make 43% of my shots if I shoot them like that. But that's not really going to do nothing for us at uh, with the outcome of the game, you know, because we got a nice flow. Everybody touching the rock, everybody shooting and scoring. So I'm not going to I'm not going to get in the way of the game because, you know, I want to have a little back and forth with Patrick Beverly. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Yeah. Yeah, I know who I am. <laughs> Are they are they tilting the floor? You mentioned kind of the defense they're playing. Are they overplaying it more than, uh, or is there a time in your career you can remember a defense maybe in a playoff series playing you this way? Yeah, for sure. I've been playing against every defense. It's not just the that tight, you know, but the constant help on my drives, the poking at the ball as I'm dribbling, the you know, two guys rushing me as I'm beating somebody off the dribble. You know, that's how I learned how to pass the ball and kind of be patient, a little bit more patient before the catch. You know, so. You know, I gotta, you know, I gotta set up shop sometimes, you know, and, and clear out space so I can get my stuff going. But in this series, it's kind of weird because, you know, uh, when the guy is that small, you know, you got the advantage. Um, but you know, the refs see, you know, we, we listen, we hear David and Goliath a lot growing up, you know, so that story is pretty, pretty much prominent in people's minds. So when you put that out there on the court against me, then the refs gonna give him a little bit more. So when he run up on me like a pit bull, grab me, hold me, I don't mind it. That's why he make his money. That's how he feed his family. But if I throw something back, then let us play. You get what I'm saying? So I got four or five offensive fouls like that. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, uh, each possession, how I can be more effective without getting offensive fouls. What about 